Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video. I am Pat from Pat's Path Predictor and I know this video is kind of, kind of coming in late and everything but I do have something I want to talk about. Um, so I normally don't do Pacific hurricanes, Pacific tropical weather. However, this is an area of interest I've been keeping an eye on the last few hours and I think uh, based on this, uh, what I'm going to show you, I think it's warranted more than enough for that. So let's go ahead and dive right into this and let's go ahead and talk about it. Alright, so this is what we have right here. This is the satellite imagery from Tropical Tidbits right here. Uh, you can see that this thing is developing as we speak. You can see that this thing is starting to organize. You can see there's a bit of rotation that's going on right now. This isn't a tropical depression. This is Invest 92E right here. So this is basically it right here. And I'm noticing that there are a lot of storms developing really up to the northern part of the center of circulation. Like, if we uh, go back a few frames, essentially, this thing, like, it starts it starts bubbling up right here. This, as you can see this, it's rotating like this right here. And you can see that uh, the cloud area is filling up, right, uh, filling up as well. So that's an area of interest I want to keep an eye on. This thing is organizing every hour, so I want everyone to know this. It is organizing every hour. So let's go ahead and look at the SP, at the, not the SPC, but the NHC, what they have to put on it. Uh, south of the, uh, of the Gulf of Te, uh, te uh, uh, Tehu Hana uh, Tebek. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing this wrong. Like I said, I don't normally do Pacific uh, Pacific uh, tropical weather, so please apologize for that. Showers and thunderstorms are beginning to show signs of more signs of organization in association with a, a surface trough located a few hundred miles south of the Gulf of Te uh, Tehu uh, uh, Tehu uh, Hante, uh, Tebek. Environmental conditions are forecast to be conducive for gradual development, and a tropical depression is likely to form this week or this weekend as, while the system moves west northwestward or northwestward around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Interest in southern Mexico should monitor the progress of this, situa of this system. The formation chance in the next 48 hours is actually 40%, so it, we got a moderate chance of this thing happening in the next 48 hours. Well, only time will tell what will happen, but... There is that organization that's going on, so I would not be surprised if this happens if this ends up uh, becoming a tropical depression in three days or so. But yeah, the formation chance in the next five days is, is actually really high, and that's 80%. That's uh, that's it's it's very likely that this thing's going to develop. Like you can see on this satellite imagery right here, it is developing every single hour. You can look at each frame. It's each frame is 10 minutes. And it and is like it's developing as we speak right now. So everyone in southwestern Mexico needs to be keeping a very close eye out on this. I know. Uh, uh, every, so everyone needs to be paying attention to this because this thing actually might become a very powerful hurricane at the end of the day. So I'll be monitoring that situation. Let's go ahead and look at the current storm information. This is Invest 91E. I am sorry. Uh, the location, uh, the location as of set, uh, as 7 p.m. Central Time or or zero UTC is 12 degrees north, 94 degrees west. Maximum winds are 25 knots or about 30 miles per hour. The minimum central pressure is 1,009 millibars, so it is getting its act together. Uh, the radius of maximum winds is 130 nautical miles. So that's basically what we have. This is the latest. This is some of the, the satellite imagery we have right here. Let's go ahead and look at the tracks of this. So there, this is this track is kind of interesting because the track does have it's kind of like moving to the northeast and then just moving off to the uh, west northwest right here. And it's expect and according to this, it's expected to make landfall according to the uh, to the AVNI in the next uh, four and a half days. But if we look at the EEMI, it's expected to make landfall in the ne in the next five and a half. So that's basically what we have right here. It's so it's gonna ebb and flow. We're gonna have to wait and see on that uh, on that tr on that track. The track for the first three days is fairly consistent, moving toward moving to the west northwest as it approaches Mexico, and then makes that turn and makes landfall. We just don't know when it'll make landfall. It's probably gonna make it's probably gonna make landfall in the next four to six days. So everyone in southwest Mexico needs to pay attention. The intensity though is what I want to get to, because if you take a look. There is a wide, uh, wide variety of this intensity, with some of the more modest models keeping it at a tropical storm, like one of the models has it as a tropical storm. However, some of these, like the majority of these models have this at least a category one hurricane, and 
uh, some even models even go further, have it, like half of them go up to category two, and there's even a couple that go up to category three strength, a potentially strong category three strength by the end of this. Like, look at this. This is Cat 3. This is, we're looking at 125 mile per hour winds according to the NNIB right here, and one, uh, 115 according to the AVNI. So, yeah, this is a situation we need to be keeping a very close eye on because at this point, it is. Uh, it is likely that this thing is going to strengthen into a hurricane right now. Now, how strong is it going to get? I don't know. There, there's too much of a variety right here for me to really give my own conjecture on this. So we're going to have to wait and see as this develops. Basically, here's what I'm going to say right now. The quicker that this thing develops, is the, the stronger this hurricane will get. Now, how, how strong this hurricane will get depends on, uh, on the warm waters. Like, the waters are pretty warm in parts of that part of Mexico. Uh, the wind shear is also considerably weak uh, at this at this current time right now, and we and there's a good uh, there's not very much dry air that, uh, that's going to invade this whole storm. So that's basically the situation we have right here. Let's go ahead and go back to the satellite imagery uh, right here, and you can see it's developing hour by hour. There are some storms developing in the southeast quadrant of it right here, so we'll be monitoring the situation as the situation progresses. The next update from me will uh, will, will be tomorrow morning on uh, this on this invest right here as it develops and as it moves closer to Mexico. But with that being said, that's going to wrap up this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It helps me out and helps me make more videos like these. The goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather on this. And even though this weather, even though this thing is likely not going to impact the United States, I do cover hurricane season uh, for Canada and Mexico, uh, for Canada and Mexico too. Sometimes, depending on if, uh, depending on if the uh, if what we're looking at is a, a very is a very like very large threat. So I've I, that's what I've extended I've extended my coverage from the United States to Canada and Mexico as well uh, for hurricane season. So I hope you guys stay uh, stay tuned for that. But with that being said, guys, have a wonderful day. Stay safe.